Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Keurig K-Slim Plus Ice. So this is the iced model of the K-Slim. So I just was using it and it stopped working. It won't power on. I've got it plugged in. Nothing lights up. Now there's a thermostat inside here that we can reset. It's overheated. There's an over temperature thermostat. We, we, all we need is some tools, a paper clip. We're going to press it in and it's going to reset it. So again, this fixes if nothing powers up. I've got it plugged in, I can't get any power. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it so that we can work on it. Okay, so on the bottom, there are some Phillips screws we need to take out. There's two right here, and then there's two underneath these feet. So we gotta take these, these little rubber stoppers come out, and underneath there, there's a screw. There's a Phillips, like a number one Phillips screw. Take those two out and those two. And you're gonna to need to gain access to like these, this area here, there's a tab you're gonna to have to pry off. Okay, so there might be a couple ways, but the way I found is to pry this back off. There's these tabs. You're gonna to have to, now some of the tabs may break, but you gotta kinda of get in there with a uh, auto body tool or a screwdriver or something, but this part should pop off and then it should come out the back. And that's what those two screws were into. Now next, we need to dis disengage this top part. Okay, so I've got the top part disconnected here. Now we come around to the bottom. Now there's this tab right here and we're gonna be pulling up so that this part comes dislodged. Now you, this may be all you need. You just need the left side. You can take this cover all the way off but there's really no need because the thermostat's right in there. So here's the heating element I took out of another Keurig out of a K-Slim. What you're looking for is this thermostat. Now it's right in here. Again, it may be hot, but right through there, we're going to use a paper clip and I'll show you, this is what you're looking for. So the center of this overheat thermostat, you're going to press it. Now you may have to press it a little bit. You'll hear like a little, you may hear a click, but you're going to press it in. And if you want to check continuity, you'll have ohms from here to here. But when this thing opens up, you lose continuity from here to here. Okay, so I've got my paper clip. I'm gonna see if you can hear that reset. You may have to move that green wire out of the way. Right there's the center. Okay, I did hear a click. And again, there's a close up view. Okay, so now putting it back together can be a little tricky, but it's these pins that usually, these, see that pin right there? It has to slide in. So you gotta kinda work your way around and then snap the sides back together. Okay, so I've got mine all back together. Now, what I found is that thermostat may open up during D scale, or it may open up because you haven't used it for a while. Mine opened up because I hadn't used this for a while. So we wanna make sure, I've got the water reservoir filled up. So lift this water reservoir on and off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda force some water into the machine because mine was kind of dry on the inside, I guess and it caused it to overheat. So I'm gonna lift this water reservoir up and down a whole bunch, just to kind of get the air bubbles out, make sure my machine works good. Okay, so I've got it plugged back in. Let's open the handle. Okay, I've got power. That fixed my problem, but it may pop again if, I, if it runs dry. So let's do an eight ounce. Okay, so it's working so far. I can hear my, okay, so you may get a bunch of popping and steaming because I haven't used it for a while, but it is working. So again, here's what that thermostat looks like. You're just gonna poke it in, reset it, and your machine will work. Again, I think mine ran dry, and it, if this heating element heats up, and there's no water in here running through it to kind of keep, keep it cool, then that thermostat pops. And sometimes if, when you're doing a D scale, if your tank runs dry, that will also pop this. So I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe.